Hey all you addicts out there, welcome back to another Addicted Trout tutorial. Today we're having more of a discussion and we're talking about the basics of trying to figure out where to find trout in lakes and ponds. Mainly we're going to talk about lakes today, bigger bodies of water, places that have multiple inlets or outlets and mainly some of the first attributes I'm going to look for and some of the first facts I'm going to look for when I'm looking for a place to fish in a lake of any given sort is one, whether they either stock fish or two, whether you're fishing for native residual fish. A lot of lakes that have stocking plants have residual fish and native stocks of fish that swim throughout the lake all year round. Other lakes have basically fully stocked. They only go and they put the fish in those lakes. So looking for those different factors is going to kind of change where you fish in the lake given whether it's native or whether it's a stock trick or a stock trout lake. If it is stocked, basically where I'm going to start always, where I'm always going to start my fishing is towards the areas that they release these fish. Usually the stocking plants are always posted. You can go online, whether it be in any state in the country, and look to see when they're going to stock these trout in these lakes, and that's going to give you a good idea of time to go. When you do go during those times, you want to go to the areas and find where the boat launches are, where the areas are where they actually back up to the lake and dump these fish in. Those fish will residualize to that area and keep feeding in that area for weeks um, after they get released in that lake. The fish that stay in the lake a little bit longer are going to start migrating and acting a little more natural in that lake. So after I've looked for that stocking plan, after I've looked for those stocking locations, I'm going to start looking for different factors, that more of maybe locating the wild fish or the residual fish that have been in the lake for years that have been stocked. A lot of these fish that they plant, a lot of these trout especially, are planted infertile. So these fish cannot respawn. They're actually used the process while they're in an egg form to make it so that they can't sexually reproduce in the lake again to kill off any wild fish that may be present. So that being the case, a lot of these fish will go and do a fall spawn certain times of the year, spring and fall. The trout will spawn multiple times throughout the year given conditions. What I want to look for in that case, if I am looking for a spawning situation or looking for a time when I think these fish are going to be sitting in a certain area, I'm going to look for freshwater inlets or freshwater outlets. So wherever there's water coming in or out of that lake is really going to determine where I'm going to want to fish. A lot of these fish will go into these narrow areas and start spawning on either mud or gravel or grass and you can actually pinpoint those fish and that's when I usually catch some of the biggest ones of the year is when they get them on that fall spawn at certain times of the year in the spring and in the fall. Oh, fish on. Better loosen up my drag. <laughs> the third thing I'm going to look for when I'm trying to find these fish different times of the year is depth. If it's hot and it's the middle of summer, these trout are always going to be in a certain water column because that's where their food's going to be. The hatches of, of insects in the lake is what controls where those fish sit. If they're up towards the surface in the springtime when the fish can go to the surface and rise and eat bugs, that's where they're going to feed. If it's later in the season and the water is warm at the surface and it's cold at the bottom, those bug hatches are going to be happening mid-range in the lake, so they're going to be at that level. So having a good sense of what depth and what time of year you're fishing is really going to be crucial in finding the trout. A lot of times, if it's midsummer, it's very, very hot, it's been hot all the way into August, those fish are going to be as deep as they possibly can be in a lake. And you can fish around the entire thing and we only find them in one small bucket and that's where the really good fishing is going to be. Again, springtime, they're going to be on the surface. Midway through the season, they'll be mid-range. In the fall, they'll be down on the bottom in the deep. So those are really my three best tips to try to find fish in a lake. Again, finding that stocking chart, finding where they plant them, finding the freshwater inlets and outlets, finding that cool water that those fish can go and feed off of and get oxygen from, and as well as find their insect life that they're feeding on. And then three, what was three? Um, and then three, figuring out the depth of that lake or pond or wherever you're gonna fish is gonna really help you go and maximize your time on the water catching these trout. So if you guys like what you saw here today, please comment below, ask any questions that you need. We'll answer everything that we can for you guys. Like and share this out there so that everybody can learn how to catch these beautiful trout. Be sure to subscribe to this page down here below. Don't forget to do that so you can keep seeing these new videos coming out every day. Thanks for tuning in guys. You stay fishy and we'll see you on the lake.